Another video here from the Illuminati. I hope you're all doing well. It's extremely important that I make this video uh, because I'm relaxing here and I wanted to make this video for all of those people that they're trying to scale a product on TikTok, okay? So how to scale a product on TikTok? And I'm not going to be showing you screens and blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter. My brother can do that. I'm going to tell you exactly in this video, you as a beginner, what you need to do and to know before and how to scale a product. So welcome to another video here from the Illuminati. I hope you guys are enjoying these kind of videos. They are super raw. Uh, I don't look for products. I like to speak about anything and everything. You know, this is the type of videos that I enjoy myself. I have my vape here. And I just sit down in my room. Sometimes I sit outside. And one of the important things that you need to understand, and I'm not going to be talking about stupidities that you don't need. I'm going to be straight to the point. So one of the most valuable information in this video is what is scaling a product on TikTok or what is scaling a product means? Well, for those people that have no idea what a scaling means, and for you, this is a new term. So ever scaling means when you find a product that is making you consistent sales or is giving you some important data points showing you the potential of investing more money, injecting more money into the ads that you're running so you can scale that product, meaning you can get more sales. So basically, when you're testing a product, you have a budget that you're going to be using that is only dedicated, simply dedicated to the testing because a product can seem well for you. But let me be honest with you. It doesn't matter what the system don't matter what you think. It doesn't matter at all. At all. So what I mean by that is that the system don't give a damn if you think that it's a good product or not. Is the system and the audience who's going to decide if this product is a good product or not. Once you have find out that right audience and the product connected with the audience, it's time for you to inject money into shop into uh, TikTok in order for scale your products to get more sales because this is the whole principle of selling online. It doesn't matter what you do. Whatever you do, once you get in sales, consistent sales, you need to inject more money to get more sales. This is basics, but I wanted to speak about these basics because sometimes because of the level of um, the level that we have acquired me and my brother, uh, sometimes we forget about the the important things at the beginning that you as a beginner you need to hear and 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 sometimes i want to come back and this is the perfect videos for me you know so once you are testing a product and you are having consistent sales me personally depends on the product not all the products are the same but if in the first day in tiktok i get between three to four sales i'm already seeing something that have potential um, for me to scale. Like I explained to you, inject more money, make more creative, and then keep scaling my products. One thing that is important that you understand is that in order for you to scale products on TikTok, you will need to always, always have organic content. What do I mean by organic content? Let's say you're testing a product right now. It's making you sales, three, four sales the first day. And now you come into the second day and you're like, okay, now it's time for me to scale this product. Wrong. Don't do that. You can little, I call that micro scaling. 
So micro scaling, my brother already spoke about it, is going a little bit higher to see what is the second day is offering. Now, if it's in the second days, we're gonna have two options or, or two scenarios that can happen. Actually, three scenarios. The first one is that you're gonna have uh, eight cells and then you're gonna be like super happy. The second scenario is that you're gonna be having uh, probably four cells again. And the third scenario is that you're gonna have maybe less cells than, the, than four. So probably two or one cell. And then you're gonna be confused because you're gonna be asking yourself, uh, what is the problem? Is it the product or is it my creatives? And this is important that I make this video because all depends on different factors. One of the factors that can make this kind of like hard situation happen of you making less sales if you are investing more money is basically you create it. And the only way to know that is if you know how to read the metrics. And this is when we come in. This is why it's extremely important that anybody that starts drop shipping gets a mentor because we know how to read metrics. We understand metrics. We're going to be able to tell you because of the success that we had for so many products, we're going to be able to explain to you what is the reason that this product particularly and the second day had less sales than it is supposed to have when it's supposed to have the double of the sales. Because if you put in more money, you're supposed to have more sales, obviously. So how to scale a product that in the second day can have this problem? Now, if you can read the metrics back, and you can see and detect some pinpoint information that is gonna be telling you that the problem comes from your creatives and your ads, you will need to have new creatives in order for you to scale that product. That's the first thing. So how you can make creative, guys, there's many ways. You can use CapCut, edit them uh, by yourself. And if you don't have any experience on editing videos, you can use bands of ads. I'm going to have a link below. So if you want to get 10 to 15% discount, it's going to be on the link below. Just go ahead and get it. Sign up with my link and you're going to get discount. They're going to make amazing creatives for you to relaunch your product. So one of the scenarios that happens to us is, and to many of our students, is that they go to the second day and the third day and they're not making sales. So they're panicking. They're saying, oh my God, this is the product. And one of the most important aspects is to know how to read your matrix. So then you can understand, is it the product or is it my videos? Once you figure out which one it is, and if you find out that it's your videos, you need to make new videos so you can be able to scale that product. Now, for the second option is if you realize because of the metrics that is your product, it can even be a bad day for TikTok. It's just be a bad day and you don't get enough sales. Go for the third day. After the third day, you should have enough information and enough data to know if this is a winning product or not. Now, I don't go all the way to third day. The only reason that I'm pushing my products on the scaling version, on the scaling uh, scenario, on TikTok is if I see that the first day and the second days I'm having sales. Then I see probably is my page that I have and need to fix it. Pro probably is my offer. Probably is my creative. All the information I'm going to have it with a data of from 48 to 72 hours. After 72 hours, I'm going to be enough bulletproof uh, set up to know if I can scale this product or I need to move on to the next one. So this is important information for you beginners that you need to understand how to scale a product. You always need to have, once you see sales coming in, you always need a bank of uh, 20, 30, 40, 50 creatives. Because when that product starts taking off, in order for you to decrease the ad spend and you can make more money, is to give in the platform new videos, new content. That is gonna help you to decrease your ad spend and have more profit margins. Because one thing that you don't understand is that if you keep those same videos, it's going to die. So your creatives are going to die slowly and slowly. And then you're going to start seeing the ad spend increasing. And you're going to be thinking, is it my product or is it my creative? And 99% of the time is your creatives. So this is exactly the formula that I use personally to scale my products on TikTok when I'm seeing sales on the first day. So this is a video that I wanted to make to you so you can have uh, 
a, 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 a overall understanding of how the how is the procedures that we take for us to scale products on TikTok. So if you like this video, you enjoy it, and uh, you like the way I'm chilling and I'm relaxing, please take a moment and like the video. Uh, it just means the word to me is pushing those videos to other people that really needs help. So please um, don't forget to like, okay? Comment below as well. If you want to be part of the mentorship with my brother, guys, uh, guys, we you have to understand that we have took a lot of a mentorship before we start this. And the reason why our mentorship is the best is because once you finish the mentorship with us, you're still going to have access to us. And understand something. We always two step ahead, five step ahead, 10 step ahead. So when you're going to be facing problems along your journey, we're going to be already 10, two, three years ahead. So we're going to give you the answers for that. And we're going to be always helping you. So if you want to sign up, you can send me a message through Facebook. We have a couple of spots available right now. And uh, see you in the next video. I love you. Peace out.